Hi everyone, and welcome to Almost Cancelled. I'm Peter, and this is Connor. Hey guys. We're going to talk about Killjoys Season 2, Episode 1. It's called Dutch and the Real Girl. And uh, full spoilers for the episode, as always. I thought this was good. Yeah, I did too. I I mean, I like Season 1. It got better as it went. But I feel like that trend of getting better as it went is kind of continued just onto this one. <laughs> yeah, it's made me actually somewhat excited for this season. Like, um, it's might actually be pretty good. So, yeah, bun- bunch of bunch of interesting setup happened. Um, Pre, I think that's his name. Is it Pre? Yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. Uh, he's on the ship now, which is cool because it. Ma- yeah. I I think like three. It's kind of similar to something uh, like Angel in the early years, actually, where there was three main characters in the first season, but they expanded it in season two, mm. and it instantly felt better once they had more. Yeah. Yeah, once they went to four and five, it just felt a bit more full. Like three is just too small. Um, so I'm glad that he's on the ship, and I was really hoping that the new girl Clara was going to. St- and I expect her to show up again. Don't get me wrong. I don't think she's gone for good. Oh no, of course not. But I was I was kind of expecting, or as they were setting her up, to just permanently be on the ship now. I I was too, and it's a little bit disappointing that she wasn't. Yeah, she had. I liked her personality. I liked the whole mech like cyborg vibe thing going on yeah. and I like that she named her arm Lucy <laughs> yeah was Lucy wasn't it Alice Alice right okay That's, they're fairly similar names you can see where I got there it was Alice yeah or Lucy one of those two <laughs> I, I don't believe my side enough to argue with you I just... the, the, the ship's Lucy isn't it the so... ship's Lucy yeah so the arm must be Alice you're right yeah Right, I was getting Lucy from something. There you go. There was a lot of new names in this that I had to remember. There was a lot of names. Because there was this new group that uh, the level 6 guy is scared of. Uh, the Black something. Black Root. Black Root, maybe Black Root. Uh, we'll get these. We'll get these a few episodes in properly. But, uh, so there's a lot of stuff. I like the opening with the whole the fake out. It's actually in your head. It wasn't original. I've seen it done before. but It, it was the sort of thing where I knew what was happening pretty quickly. But it doesn't matter because you know, it was fun. It was fun, especially at the end of it when it went into like slow motion as they were kissing and the sparks were going <laughs> off. And... It had the little grenade thing that rolled in. It was like five, yeah. four, oops, <laughs> it just exploded. <laughs> that they got a good chuckle out of me. Yeah, actually, there's a lot of witty little things in this episode that I like dialogue wise. Uh, yeah. At one point, Dutch said to John, "You've got, you've got thinky face," <laughs> yeah. which cracked me up. And then there was another one with their their handler woman. Uh, was saying you always go after the dragons and Dutch said, but they have all the gold. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. good. Some good lines. I was, I was appreciating those. Uh, actually, before we go any further, new opening title sequence. Much better. Much better, I agree. Uh, the last one felt like it was been really trying to be flashy and hip and this one just felt a bit more like, yeah, we're fun comic it took me a mi- like, It took me a moment. I was like, with the, the new like, style, I was like, this wasn't here before. This <laughs> definitely wasn't here before. Nah, 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 definitely. It suits the tone of the show better, I think. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's just know, much better. The show still has that problem where it, it goes to the, the cheap source music a little bit too often. I don't think we're ever going to get away from that, to be honest. We probably aren't. But I just, it was especially noticeable in this one because I felt like they'd done it every time they went to transition. Yeah. And that was, that was bugging me, but hey. Uh, so we'll tackle we'll tackle Dav's side of things first. So he, he he wakes up and they test him, and for some reason, his blood means that he can actually wound the level six. And the level six doesn't immediately heal like he usually does. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Yeah, but the level six treatment didn't work on Dav. Probably because of the blood. Probably, but like you know, this is world building, and this whole thing where these these dreams aren't actually dreams. Well, the one with the Dutch and the thing at the start probably was, but the like you know, like it was like a, a long lost memory, and yeah. we're setting up this sort of back mythology and just, stuff. Just just a thing on the blood. Do you think that uh, that Johnny has the same thing then? Because obviously they're brothers. That did occur to me actually. See, see at the end when they were saying who's next, is it me or John? I was like, well, is John not technically going to be immune? But then I thought maybe it's all the treatment Dav got as a soldier that done uh, this to him. Be, yeah. yeah, maybe there's something in there. Maybe it's not genetic. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it was just a thought because we know that he had a lot of shit done to him, and the whole the whole uh, like 
commanding him to like shoot his team and all that, and yeah, he yeah. couldn't remember all that stuff. Like uh, maybe something something to do with that that just made him immune to all this stuff. Mm. Um, so that was that. But that also introduced the was it the black root? I think it was black root. Yeah, yeah. And this idea that they are like the head of the rack and they're like the top of the food chain and yeah, so they're set, above all the level sixes. So we've set we've set up like a proper villain. Which is cool for the season. It feels like it has like right away a bit more focus than season one did. Yeah. Because season one, you know, it was like a lot of introducing and a lot of case of the week stuff. And I feel like this right away doesn't feel like case of the week. Because even at the end of the episode when they talk about, all right, our first mission is this. Because we go back to Old Town and it's like, oh, it's cordoned off after the bombings. We don't know who's alive and all that. Or the first thing we're going to do is go in trying, you know, save whoever's left and so on. Yeah. And right away that feels like, Oh, so it's not going to be Kiss of the Week then. We've already set up the, the serialised element for the next episode. Yeah, I think we started moving away from it the last few episodes of season one anyway. Yeah, we did, yeah. I think they're just full on committed to that's probably not going to be the case going forward at all. Yeah, I and I'm glad. I think it makes it much more interesting. Yeah, I don't mind it every so often, like as lulls between arcs. I think we might still get that. But... Yeah, we might occasionally, but it... If it's a lot more uh, consistent in having serialized stuff, then I'm all better for that. Because I think the first half of season one suffered a bit from just each week we got. A, got yeah, case. it went on a little bit too long, didn't it? Um, but no, no. Um, so I like that side of things. Uh, I liked um, Pre and John and Dutch and the case sneaking into the uh, the the cons like gambling. Station. What's it called? It was um. Oh, I can't remember. There's too many new names in you, this. You, you something, eulogy. Yeah, maybe yeah. eulogy. Yeah, that sounds right. Something, something along those lines. It sounds, it sounds right. You something. <laughs> uh, but I liked all that. I liked them pretending to be a couple and. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was just, fun. It was fun stuff. I liked the shit out when uh, we we got Alice and Clara with uh, Dutch like shitting their way out. There's was, there was some moments to be had. And I liked her. I liked, I liked uh, most of... I actually liked pretty much everything to do with Clara, to be honest. I liked her communicating with Lucy. Um, mm. Lucy and her finding each other attractive, which is weird. weird. Yeah, but she's like half machine now, so it kind of works. Yeah. Uh, her telling John that Alice has a crush on him, and he's like, yeah, it was mutual. Yeah. And then at the end, Lucy's like, can we keep her? <laughs> Yeah, so she's definitely coming back. I was just hoping she'd be like a proper regular. I was hoping it'd be like a five-man crew now. I was too. I think five is always the optimal number for teams, in my opinion. Yeah. I think yeah. it's like enough people that there's always something interesting, but not too many that someone gets shafted. I think five to seven's the sweet spot. Yeah, fair enough. You can have more. Firefly was nine, after all. Yeah, you can. You can. But then um, we're not all just reading rating TV shows. Though, yeah, are we? exactly. He, he's he's the <laughs> exception. He can manage that. Most people can't. You know, now that I've said nine, I'm worried that I've got that number wrong. <laughs> it could be. I'm not going to count them just now. <laughs> I'll check afterwards. It, it could be eight, uh, but you know, I'll check. I'll check later. Uh, so no, no, I, I thought that was a really strong uh, first episode back. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. More than I was expecting. I think. And obviously, I liked the first season. And I, th- I thought it was some fun stuff. I thought, I thought were, it felt bigger in terms of myth, like and the, you know, like I says I'm just talking about effects, and I'm not. Even though effects obviously play into this, but it just it feels like everything's bigger and more prominent in the sense that we see them go through the shield, of yeah. the moon, and they, they it keeps falling them down till they land. Uh, them looking at the fence around Old Town, I thought, you know, I, I'm getting a better sense of space and a better sense of, you know, I don't know, just little things like that. I really like how much it's grown over, since season one as well. Like, they, they go to old, you see Old Town cordoned off and it has meaning. It's mm. not just a, a random place because we know Old Town. Yeah. And so it really helps. And it makes me excited for the next episode as well because they're like, right, we're going back. And that that's where most of the characters that we know are. Yeah, we've got the Doctor Lady. Yeah. And who's the other person that said, they said there was two people down there? Uh. I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember either. <laughs> I'm sure we'll recognise them when we see them. 
Yeah. There was a lot of new information in that episode. There was a lot of new information, and we also binge watched season one, so the information from season one didn't exactly sit in as well as it would have had we been yeah. watching week to week and discussing it. Whereas season two, we'll remember well, because we're talking about it each week. Yeah, don't say perfectly, don't promise anything. <laughs> <sighs> I'll speak for myself. I mean, you're ginger. I don't. I, don't. I mean, we did just forget details from something we watched ten minutes ago. So, come on. It's in the ballpark. It's fine. That's Killjoys, <laughs> season two premiere. It was good. We liked it. We had fun. So, let us know what you think of the episode in the comments below. Uh, you know, are you someone who caught up for season two? Are you someone who's watched all through last year? Uh, let us know your th- thoughts and feelings, and like and subscribe and all that jazz. Uh, helps us out a lot. We always love to hear from you. Thanks very much for watching, guys. We will see you next time.